안녕하세요. Today I'm going to make chewy and refreshing ham puddle soup with clams and vegetable pancakes, which are good to eat on a rainy day. There are too many ingredients, but you don't have to use them all. Just use vegetables available. I will make two kinds of dough: pumpkin and beet. First, prepare one fourth of pumpkin and cut it into four. Cut its piece into six pieces and peel. Prepare a half small beet and cut it into twelve pieces. Boil the beet pieces with 150 milliliters of water for three minutes. Process the pumpkin pieces with 120 milliliters of water for 30 seconds. Next, process boiled beet pieces with boiled water. These are ingredients for dough, beet and pumpkin liquids, wheat flour, starch powder, and egg, olive oil, salt, and water. For pumpkin dough, put 250 milliliters of wheat flour and two tablespoons of starch powder in a big bowl. Put one teaspoon of salt and four tablespoons of pumpkin liquid. Put one tablespoon of egg. Put one tablespoon of olive oil. This stops from being sticky when you knead. Then mix it with a spoon and knead with hand. Knead it for ten minutes. The longer you knead, the chewier it gets. Next, for a beet dough. Put 250 milliliters of wheat flour and two tablespoons of starch powder. Put half tablespoon of salt and five tablespoons of beet liquid. Put one tablespoon of egg and olive oil each, and then mix. Color is so pretty. Put the dough in a plastic bag each, and leave them in the refrigerator to mature for a few hours, which will make them chewier. These are ingredients for making chewy hand pulled off dough soup sujebi. To make broth, boil two shiite mushrooms. Two pieces of onion, some kale pieces, some anchovies, and some green onion pieces. Roll out the pumpkin dough thin, three millimeter thick. Then cut it into four stripes as wide as four centimeters. Roll out the beet dough as thick as three millimeters and cut it into four stripes too. I pulled out beet dough with hands and made it thinner. See, it's not sticky at all. Remove the stuff in the broth. Cut one third of carrot into fine stripes. Cut half onion into stripes too. Cut one third of a zucchini into fine stripes. Cut two shiite mushrooms into pieces. Cut four hot green chili peppers into small pieces. Cut two red chili peppers sideways. Vegetables for sujebi are now ready. These are for vegetable pancakes, but any vegetables can be used. Cut all vegetables into pieces. Cut sesame leaves in half and into several pieces. This is called chamnamu and it's very fragrant. You can also use spinach instead of it. Tomatoes taste sweet but a little sour, so if you don't like sour taste, don't add them. For pancake batter, put in five tablespoons of pancake mix. And three tablespoons of starch powder. Put in a teaspoon.
tablespoon of salt and half tablespoon of minced garlic. Pour in 180 milliliters of water and mix. Then put five pieces of ice. I prepare to make a pancake as soon as Debbie is done. When the broth is boiling, pull off pumpkin Debbie dough first. When it's rolled out thin in advance, it's easy to be pulled off and to wear. This time, beat dough. Dough is smooth and elastic, so it's fun to cook. When pulling off is done, stir it, put clams, and boil it for one minute over medium high heat. Put in two tablespoons of minced garlic, carrot, onion, and mushroom pieces, and boil for 30 seconds. Then, put in the rest vegetables and small octopuses and boil for 30 seconds. Small octopuses aren't necessary. Remove impurities while boiling. I put two eggs, but they are not necessary either. And it's done. Now for pancakes. Put all vegetables in the batter and mix. In a heated frying pan with some olive oil already heated for some fat. Spread the batter thin and turn it over when edges are cooked and press it with spatula. Put in one more tablespoon of olive oil and cook for one minute. They are done. So curious about taste soup first. Wow, tastes spicy from hot green pepper and refreshing from clam. Clam meat is so fresh, chewy, and savory. Look at this smooth and soft pulled up beet dough. Tastes so tender and chewy that I don't want to stop eating. This pancake is good for a side dish and tastes fragrant from vegetables. This clam is big and doesn't have any sand, so it not only is easy to use but also tastes really good. I'd better drink this soup. Oh, really cool! Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another version of Sujebi with oyster and seaweed.